Hey guys, CobDev here, and welcome to part 5 of the Let's Create the Letter and Zelda Breath of the Wild series. Um, last time, we went ahead and uh, retargeted some Mixamo animations to our UE4 skeleton uh, mannequin. Um, so now we have those, but we did not implement them into the actual game, so we're going to be doing that in this tutorial. So first, we have to go right into this folder mannequin animations and we're going to create a new blend space this is the default one we're going to replace it with our own so let's go into just right click animation uh, blend space 1d um, and we need to choose ue4 mannequin skeleton uh, we'll call this run walk blend space open it up and open up this horizontal axis right here and we're gonna call this speed so what we're doing here is this horizontal axis here um, is is uh, the points we'll be making is what speed will be going and at that speed will change the animation so his default will be kind of that regular jog we already have his run will be that sprint we just put in, and then when he gets tired, he's going to do a walk, um, and his speed's going to be lower as well. So, we have to make the minimum axis value stay at zero, the maximum a thousand, which I believe is our max speed. So, yeah, here we have um, our max walk speed set to a thousand when we are sprinting, our, uh, and our uh, walking is set to 300, and our default is 600. So, Let's make the number of grid divisions 10. Um, and I'll explain why we did that. Because our max, we put it at 1,000. And now we can set different animations at each, um, like 600, 700, 800. Um, so we can do 1,000, uh, 600, and 300, um, and 0. Um, OK, so. This, yeah, so we take let's take a run animation and put it at a thousand. So this is his sprint animation um, when we're going full speed when we're holding down shift uh, the or the whatever your sprint button is. Um, our walk animation, uh, or let's take our uh, yeah. So this is the default. We're gonna put this at six hundred, which is his normal jog. And what this blend space is doing is it's um. It's smoothly uh, making him go from one animation to the next. So as you can see, um, we're gonna make our inter uh, interpolation time a uh, just a little bit, so that like when you go to a sprint, well, when I drag it personally, it doesn't work as well, but it'll it'll look pretty good um, when we uh, actually do it in real time. So we'll take our walk. So. I decided I'm just going to go ahead and use the third person walk because I downloaded the, the uh, walk animation not in place and actually after watching it a bit I think I actually like the third person walk a little better. So we're just going to take the third person walk. You can use whichever one. It really doesn't matter. We're going to put it at 300 which is our walking speed when he's tired. Um, and then at zero we should put the idle. Yeah. Um, you can download your own idle animation if you don't like that one. So now we have all the different stages of his speed. Um, now we're going to make the interpolation time point about point 0.2 works for me best. It's just as a little bit of a delay, kind of makes it feel more natural. I'm going to save. So let's go ahead and open our third person animation blueprint. And we're going to go into our anim graph. And if this doesn't show up for you, just double click it right here underneath graphs. So we have, this is our final animation pose, as you can see. And we have this state machine here. And this state machine is default set up with the blend space that we do not want to use, the original uh, one. Um, and as you can see with this little preview here, if we change the speed, you know, he, he goes to his run animation and we, he just has those two he just has idle and run um, so we're gonna go into our state machine and we have this pretty simple graph you know we have our entry and then idle run and then the the jump and we're not gonna touch the jump for now um, but double click on the idle run 
and this we so this variable was already here in the animation uh, blueprint but basically there was a variable created called speed um, and that's this one right here and it is defining uh, our horizontal axis right here in the uh, blend space so we named this one also speed so um, just to make it less confusing so you can actually differentiate the um, called the speed animations um, so this is the uh, default blend space which we don't want we can go ahead and delete that and then we need to add in click asset browser right here our new blend space the run walk BS is what we called it um, now we have our speed animations our uh, speed uh, variable plug that in and plug that into the output animation post um, so now when we uh, control this speed um, which is uh, directly affected by our max walk speed. Our max walk speed changes this speed, which cha which chooses our speed animations. So um, we can compile, save, and now if we go to our preview editor and we change the speed to you know 300 ish, he'll do his walk. Um, you know six. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's sensitive. 600, he does his like jog, and then a thousand, he's doing his sprint, which is just what we want. Um, so we can just compile, save, and that's all we have to do for now in the animation blueprint. Back to the third per person map, we can test it out. So his run's a little funky, but you can choose anyone you want from um, from uh, the uh, Mixamo. And then, you know, when he gets tired now, it's kind of more of a walk. And you can definitely either, you know, make your own animations if you know how, or just find ones on Mixamo that you think fit better. Um, I think this is fine. I think his run animation in Breath of the Wild itself is pretty funky as well. Um, but now we have a much better looking um, uh, running and walking animations. Okay, so last thing we're going to do is we're going to... Um, make the stamina bar disappear when it's not in use so uh, after it fills up and it's 100 percent like this and we're just doing a regular jog it should uh, be disappeared and reappear when we start sprinting and disappear once it reaches 100 again so how we're going to do that is we're going to go into our third person character um, and we are going to directly hide uh, this in the main HUD instead of doing it inside this one. So take this stamina bar widget and we're gonna set the visibility, you can just search for it in here, to uh, visible, um, which shouldn't change anything from what you originally see. I don't really know why it was set to self hit test, uh, <laughs> self hit test invisible. There we go. Um, so just set it to visible. We are actually we can set its default to hidden because we are going to be starting not sprinting um, so the third person character input action sprint so after um, we start sprinting the entire sprint function can go we can get our main HUD reference uh, get our stamina bar widget set visibility to visible. Um, that's real easy. So once we start sprinting, it becomes visible. Um, for And then for making it hidden again, we don't want to just do it for the release because we want it to hide when it reaches back to 100. We want to be able to watch it fill back up. So we go to our stamina regeneration event and um, we're set timer by function name stamina regeneration. We're actually going to go to stamina regeneration. Um, if stamina level is less than max stamina, false, and then, um, so if it reaches max stamina again, we set to walk, we set can sprint, we set ex is exhausted to false, and before we clear the timer, we just basically have to do the same thing, but in reverse, get main HUD ref, get stamina bar widget, set visibility to hidden. And that should be it for that. It's very simple, and it took me a surprisingly long amount of time to figure out how to do it for it being that simple. But if we see now, if you press play, it's not there. We start sprinting, it appears. 
We let go. It goes all the way back to the top, and boom, it's gone again. We start sprinting. I'm going to sprint all the way to exhaustion. And it's going to still wait till we're all the way. There we go. And that's, that's everything we need. If you have any uh, questions, uh, please uh, leave them in the comments. I will do my best to get to you and help you out. Uh, I hope you learned something, um, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.